Welcome this morning to our viewing number 16 in the series of higher calling and uh, this uh, uh, this this time we are looking at uh, medical missionary work and uh, city evangelism let us pray as we go through this short presentation heavenly father we want to thank you for this morning we want to thank you because um, you have been so kind unto us and lord as we hold up the work that you have given unto us impart on us the spirit that we may be able to do the works of christ and not our own works in jesus name amen we have been told that uh, the work is to go forward and uh, uh, the cities need to be reached and be warned about uh, the second coming of Jesus Christ and the impending conflict. In John chapter 10 verse 16 we are told, And other sheep I have which are not of this fold, them also I must bring, and they shall hear my voice, and there shall be one fold and one shepherd. This is the work that we have been told that uh, we ought to be doing at such a time we should go in the byways and the highways and uh, invite people in the marriage supper of um, the lamb uh, we are told that uh, uh, as i saw that what we must be in order to inherit glory and then saw how much jesus had suffered to obtain for us to so rich an inheritance i pray that we might be baptized into christ's suffering and we might not sharing our trials but bear them with patience and joy knowing what jesus had suffered that we through his poverty and suffering might be made rich said the angel deny self you must step fast some of us have led had time to get the truth and to advance step by step and every step we have taken has given us strength to take the next but now time is almost finished and what we have been years learning they will have to learn in a few months they will also have much to unlearn and much to learn again those who will not receive the mark of the beast and his image when the decree goes forth must have the decision now to say nay we will not regard the institution of the beast or that we might see the needs of the cities as God sees them. At such a time as this, every hand is to be employed. The Lord is coming. The end is near. Yea, it has it hastened greatly. In a little while, we shall be unable to work with the freedom that we now enjoy. Terrible sins are before us, and what we do, we must do quickly. So, there is a need for city evangelism, and we have been told that uh, what we do we must do it quickly there is open fields for us and uh, christ is looking for men and women uh, which are uh, uh, which are interested in uh, going to the cities and warning uh, our cities must be worked from an outpost center and that is where we shall we should be establishing uh, uh, centers outside the cities so in preparatory to moving to uh, smaller cities and uh, rural and remote places, uh, there should be no centering in towns uh, with our work. Uh, we take an example uh, of, uh, of, uh, of Enoch, who actually did uh, city evangelism and uh, uh, also John the Baptist. Who actually they came into the city to evangelize and they went back to the remote places we are told in uh, medical missionary 3, 3, 325 paragraph 2 this is what um, we are told that uh, in every city there are men and women who will go to a sanitarium who are it near at hand who will not be able to go to one a longer way off there are many who will be convicted and converted who now appear indifferent I look at this matter in a very decided light so there should be uh, establishments of uh, places where actually people can be reached or people can reach so that they may be benefited with our station and uh, uh, everyone should be asking lord what will thou have me to do it is the lord's purpose that his method of healing without drugs shall be brought into the prominent in every large city through our medical institution but people have not been able to carry out this work god invests with holy dignity those who go forth in his power to heal the sick and uh, what we have to do is take up the work and see the lord uh work in a way in 325.3 uh she says that um, uh, 
Uh, let the light shine forth further and still further in every place to which it is possible to obtain entrance. Saturn will make the work as difficult as possible, but divine power will attend all true-hearted workers. Guided by our Heavenly Father's hand, let us go forward improving every opportunity to extend the work hard. There, there have been uh, a, a lot of centralizing in, uh, in one place and uh, putting all the facilities in one space, place instead of uh, actually establishing a small institutions and small uh, workforces in different or various parts uh, of the world and not uh, colonizing, not um, centralizing, not um, uh, putting ourselves in one place instead of expanding the work. It has been uh, always as if uh, the Tower of Babel has been repeated in our lives that when the Lord tells us scatter, we want to confine things at one place. We don't want to ex expand to other parts of, uh, of, of, the, of the world. We, we would rather uh, uh, confine all our efforts in one place instead of scattering and multiplying different, uh, stationing ourselves in different places. And the Lord will say us, break off this system of Babylon in confining yourself in building towers of Babel in one place, go to different places and be able to spread the gospel of Christ. We shall have to labor under difficulties, but because of this, let us know our zeal uh, actually flag. The Bible does not acknowledge a believer who is idle, however high his profession may be. We should not be interested in uh, just sitting in offices and uh, giving out of commands of what shall be done or what shall not be done. We ourselves, we have to take up the work. And, uh, uh, and uh, uh, we may say that uh, actually our cities have passed uh, 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 the level of being admonished and uh, they have become like uh, the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah. And in fact, instead of seeing that they have passed um, uh, the level or they have passed admonitions and there is nothing to be done to them. That fact is the fact that should propel you to do something. And although our large cities are first reaching a condition similar to the condition of world before the flood, and though they be a Sodom for wickedness, yet we have honest souls there. You can find that there are all souls that were there. If, if people could have worked fast enough, those souls will have been saved. And uh, the Lord has messages for our large cities, but who is there to uh, uh, to take them up? Uh, and uh, uh, th there is always a danger of being people being satisfied with a uh, 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 little effort they have been put in and now just stop there and not continue with the work. The, the prophet laments in 755.1, Testimonies to the Church, volume 7, page 55. Uh, this is what she laments, that it was presented to me that we should not rest satisfied because we have a vegetarian restaurant in Brooklyn, but that others should be established in other sanctions of the city. Men and women who eat at the restaurants established in different places will become conscious of an improvement in health they are confident once again they will be more ready to accept God's special message of truth. And so we shouldn't be resting satisfied because we have done, uh, uh, it seems that um, we we have done a little bit work somewhere. No, we should, we, we should uh, be able to uh, continue putting in more efforts, putting in more uh, efforts in, in our work and uh, go forward uh, uh, with the work as never before. Never should we be satisfied that uh, we have finished the work. The work has to go on until uh, uh, the Lord shall bid us uh, that um, the work cannot go forward uh, Anymore. And so we should be interested. We should be interested in the work of the Lord more than 
it has ever been uh, before us. But what is the problem? The slackness, not only in the management, but um, in those who want to go and do the work. There is a lot of slackness in, uh, in people. They, they are not interested in the work of the cities. Many still, even if warned, they will want to remain in those cities. And uh, the, the, the Lord tells us, do something for these people. Do something for these people because as, as we see the condition of the world, everything is coming to an end. Everything that has been prophesied in the word of God is um, happening. It's happening. And uh, uh, what we must do, we must do it quickly. And the reason for the Lord giving us the third angel's message is to prepare people to stand during our investigative judgment. And so if we are not doing the things that um, the Lord had told us to do, then uh, we are not preparing uh, the people to stand during investigative judgment. Our voice should be that voice of like uh, uh, John the Baptist. It should be prepared the way of the Lord. So must the voice of the Lord's messengers be heard in great uh, a tourist and uh, seaside resorts. We should not rest John the Baptist never rest in his labors. Also, we should not rest in uh, uh, our labors. And uh, a well-balanced work can be carried on based in the cities when uh, actually a Bible school for the training of workers is in progress while public meetings are being held. Uh, and when these things are connected with uh, our city mission, then we shall see actually uh, success attend uh, to them. We are told in Evangelism 108, paragraph 1, look at what we are told. Evangelism 108.1, and as men and women are converted to the truth, those standing at the head of the mission should, with much prayer, show these new converts how to experience the power of the truth in their hearts. Such a mission, if conducted by those who know how to manage wisely, will be a light shining in the dark place. And so, there should be a need of pressing more and talking less. A practical work has to be accomplished in this world that we live, and it will not be accomplished by only talks. It will be accomplished by people uh, uh, moving and helping the people who are in the cities. House should be rendered, publishing houses uh, started near the cities, and uh, Bible readings should be given to the people our trucks should be supplied and uh, under medical mission work and uh, uh, let us scatter our materials like the autumn leaves. We don't have to stay um, uh, ignorant of what the Lord has told us to do. There will be a way open for us if only we trust in God. The city evangelism may be a very hard work to do. But as we go in faith with the Lord, what, what the Lord has told us to do, then we shall see a way open uh, for us. Uh, the young people who go out to labor in these cities should be under the direction of experienced, consecrated leaders. They should not be left on their own. Let the workers be provided with a good home in which they may receive thorough training. And uh, when the youths are trained in the right way, the youths are so agile in uh, in doing the work if they are given proper training then we will see the work that has been as lacking going forth with a mighty force and uh, in evangelism 533.4 uh, this is what you are told that we far, we are so far behind we are far behind in doing the work that should have been done in these long neglected cities the work will now be more difficult that it will have been a few years ago. But if we take up the work in the name of the Lord, barriers will be broken down and decided victory will be ours. The, the only thing that has been uh, so difficult is the people of the Lord trusting in the Lord. If in this work, if physicians and gospel workers uh, had been equipped, had been trained, then 
and did to go in faith and supported, then the Lord will have made their work successful. We must praise our petitions always to the Lord and do our best, pressing forward with all the energy possible to make an opening in the large cities. And uh, had we in the past worked after the Lord's plan, many lights would be shining brightly that are going out. The Lord had opened our way back in the years, but uh, the work has been retarded because men have not been able to practice faith. What is God calling us? What is God wanting at a such a time as this? God is calling not only upon ministers, but also upon physicians, nurses, colportuas, Bible workers, and other consecrated laymen of varied talent who have a knowledge of the word of God and who know the power of his grace to consider the needs of the unwarned cities. Time is rapidly passing and there is much to be done. Every agency must be set in operation that present opportunities may be wisely improved. Time is uh, so short and what we must do, we must do it quickly. But um, there is uh, no interest in the work. That is why actually... Uh, the work has not gone forward as it should be going. But if there could have been interest from both the young and the old, then the work would have gone and we could have seen the success. Uh, public meetings must be held in these cities, health expos, and uh, 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 short lessons should be offered so that the people may come in touch with the truth in various lines of work. We should not wait to do something large. Let us go and do something which we can do, and the Lord will actually bless these efforts we are putting uh, out. Who has despised? Actually, the book of Haggai asks, who has despised the days of the small things? These small things that we do will make up the larger thing. If we go outside there and do whatever we can do, hold talks, enlighten the hearers and uh, give people opportunities to know uh, 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 how God will want them to prosper in health and uh, as their soul prospereth, then they'll be able to listen. Our health work will be an entering wage for the people, for our work. If in, in carrying out this important work for the cities, let us come near to the woes and the hearts of the people. Let us not rest uh, 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 as we see souls uh, going in perdition, uh, let us use the medical missionary work as an entering wage to this work that um, we are talking about, and the Lord will bless us. Uh, 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 people should be taught, even in this last day, in, in our public evangelism, in our work to the cities, People are to be taught, taught methods in which they can live without buying and selling. This is something that has not been touched on when we are doing uh, our expos in, in the cities. But this is one thing that is so fundamental in our city evangelism. People to be taught how to live without buying and selling. And um, people should know that uh, soon there will be no facilities even for treatment and they should be taught how to to how to i mean how to treat themselves how to be able to dispense with the drug medication and uh, I, I i like to show you something that uh, while we are doing this work, something also should be considered. Uh, when I'm talking about um, treatment uh, without uh, using drugs, which should come before the people who are in the cities and they be taught the natural way of uh, healing their ailment, the natural way of healing their ailment. This is the message that the Lord has given to the church and uh, no one is to shun it because it is unpopular. No one is to shun it because it seems unpopular to some people. Spalding and Magan. Let us look at uh, Spalding and Magan page uh, 137.2. As we go to the city, 
to preach these messages and to preach medication without drug. We are told the true method of for healing the sick is to tell them of the herbs that grow for the benefit of, of man. Scientists have attached large names to these simplest preparations, but true education will lead us to teach the sick that they need not call in a doctor any more than they would call in a lawyer. They can themselves themselves administer the simple herbs if necessary to educate the human family that the doctor alone knows all the ills of infants and persons of every age is false teaching and the sooner we are we as a people stand on the principles of health reform the greater will be the blessing that will come to those who will do true medical work there is a work to be done in treating the sick with water and teaching them to make the most of sunshine and physical exercise thus in simple language we may teach the people how to preserve health how to avoid sickness this is the work our sanitariums are called upon to do this is true science and we find that um, uh, the the medical uh, practitioner in these last days will call Hezekiah's treatment as quackery, but this is how the Lord works. The Lord has taken the foolish things of this world to confound the wise. And uh, uh, when we look at the expense that it cost heaven for our salvation, Seventh Day Adventist will not be sitting and doing nothing and murmuring and complaining and fighting within themselves in a special sense we have been set in the world as watchmen and light bearers but we are not doing this we have become dumb dogs we cannot bark to us has been entrusted the last warning for the perishing world we should always remember that this is the work that the lord has given unto us and he has quarried us from other churches with a mighty cleave of truth the first the second the third angel's message and nothing should engross our mind than spreading this message and city evangelism is one of the message that is under the third angel's message the world should be warned the light and the grace of christ that is shining upon our hearts should be given to other people we have a most soul work a work of more solemn import the proclamation of the first the second and the third angel's message there is no other work great there is no other uh, work of so great importance and we are to allow nothing to observe our attention this is uh, what we found in uh, volume 9 of testimonies page 19 uh, and uh, when you read the uh, testimonies to the church volume 200 uh, when you read testimonies to the church page 233 we are told that uh, uh, let everyone who loves god consider that now while it is day it is the time to work not among the sheep already in the fall but to go out in search of the lost and perishing ones this need to have a special help to bring them back to the fall now is the time for the careless to arouse from their slumber now is the time to entreat that soul should not only hear the word of god but without delay secure oil in their vessels with their lambs and this oil we know that it is the righteousness of christ and it represents character and you know very well that character is not transferable and so the seventh day adventists should be going outside there and reaching out to the people who have not heard the truth most terribly we are told in testimonies volume 5 page 463 look at testimonies uh, uh volume 5 page uh, uh, 463 say the work which the church has failed to do in time of peace and prosperity she will have to do in a terrible crisis under most discouraging forbidding circumstances brothers and sisters this is not what we want to do we want to make sure that um, we are working for the lord while the uh, atmosphere is still uh, uh, peaceable and is still encouraging for us to do so we don't want to come in that great day and be found wandering in the balances of the sanctuary um, a, a large work of isaiah chapter 58 must be done and uh, and a people must be induced to come to the truth and uh, um, uh, testimonies to the church volume 6 uh, page 440 we find that uh, a great work must be done all through the world and let no one conclude that because the end is near there is no need of special effort to build up the various institutions as the cause shall demand we are not to know the day or the hour of the lord's appearing for this has not been revealed and so there is no to be speculation which has not been given let people actually take their 
uh, uh, instruments of work and go outside there and do our work. Let everyone work upon that which has been placed in their hands, doing the daily duties that God requires. There should be no speculation. There should be a doing of the work of God. And uh, 6440, uh, we shall know. The Lord shall even tell us when to stop working. When the Lord shall bid us no further effort to build meeting houses and establish school sanitarium and publishing institution, it will be time for us to fold our hands and let the Lord close up the work. But now is our opportunity to show our zeal for God and our love for uh, for humanity. And so we have this higher calling. We have a great work before us. And the least that the people can do is to participate in idleness and idle talks. We are to be partners in the work of God throughout the world. Wherever there are souls to be saved, we are to lend our help that many sons and daughters may be brought to God. The end is so near and every sign should give us a reason even to work with more earnestness than ever before. We, we must be co-laborers with Christ, brothers and sisters. We must weep for those who cannot weep for themselves. We must cry for those who cannot cry for themselves. That is in 1 SM 118, I believe. We must work, be collaborators with Christ and unite with him. And so this is what I close up with, what I stated with, that um, uh, and other sheep I have which are not of this fold, them also I must bring in, the, and they shall hear my voice, and there shall be one fold and one shepherd. This is the work that the Lord has given us, city evangelism, and the sooner we start it, the better, not tomorrow, but today. Keep the machines running. Keep the work crawling. Do whatever you can do to reach out the people who are in the cities. Let small publishing houses be established. We don't need thousands and thousands of dollars to do this. A few dollars can buy each person a printer that can be used to supply the trucks, to spread the trucks in the localities, in the cities that uh, they are in. And uh, when the youths are trained in the right way and they are given the mantle to go ahead and do the work, and we shall see a greater success attend to our works. Let us practice the faith. Let us not just be people who believe, but let us be people who act upon the word that we have received. Otherwise, God bless you and uh, uh, team up with somebody. Do something that we can do for the cities. Out work uh, the outpost center work. Do a relief work. Induce people to come to the truth. The end is near. Show them by your prayer, by your living, by your work that actually you believe the end is coming. The, 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 the reason why we can't affect so many people in the cities, we are crowded in them. We eat what they eat, we dress what they dress, we uh, do investments that they do. And so how can we tell them that the end is near when the exact things that we have to warn them against are the exact things that we are doing? God be with us and bless us and uh, uh, may he use us for his work. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you. Really, we have not advanced the way we should advance in the city evangelism work. We pray that uh, you may touch our hearts, that uh, the means we have been holding and hiding it may be used, it may come out, because it will come up when it is too late, when the means shall not be needed and the works have been closed. We pray that um, as the still there is a chance to do this work, Father, hold our hands and soften our hearts that we may do them. Glory and honor be unto thee in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you.